Hey there, how's it going? What is up, everybody? Irish Orangutan is back to pass along what you need to know to get better at Madden and grow your Mutt team. Enjoy the show. Today we are back to talk about Ultimate Team's 10th anniversary and some of the players that will be coming out. They did get things kicked off with a bit of a bang today, bringing out Bo Jackson and allowing him into packs. They did give away quite a few of these details this morning on Good Morning Madden, almost had Madden Daily drops one more time, but thankfully we're getting that out of our vocabulary. But the first man that they have is Bo Jackson at 91 overall. You do have the opportunity to go and pull him for his limited time card, and you can get that through, I believe, Monday at server changeover. Um, that is about the same time as Legends would usually be going out of packs. This is going to be more or less taking the place of the limited time Legends, so there will be one less Legend that we do get to discuss um, on our recap and since that is such uh, we might be putting that to rest at least for the next 10 weeks until we get things um, kicked off and a little deeper into mutt or there's a little bit less content um, we usually went over those on saturday morning anyway and now with them coming out on friday we're a little bit behind so gonna be bringing you something else during that time slot but getting back into Bo and these 10 players you will have the opportunity to get. Um, you will see this in the loading screen, uh, but I will be showing off a little bit of what you can one can do, excuse me, once you get into Madden Ultimate Team. Quick note, there are these veterans in packs as well. You can go out and get them again with training. Um, this Pierre Garçon is interesting. Him and John Sullivan, who have came out for the veterans, actually you are able to go in and use these players pretty much as a power-up and change team, so they will fit on the Washington Redskins theme team as well. I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, have discussed that in the past, but just wanted to make sure you are aware. We did get a Twitch drop pack. I don't think we're going to get lucky enough to pull Bo out of this. Um, something that is quite interesting. Um, oh, Michael Thomas, 85 overall coming out of a Twitch pack. That's pretty hot. All right. Um, that's definitely my best pull. Um, I have had an 84 overall earlier on this year as well out of those, but that is... Um, very strange. Um, the other thing that you do want to keep in mind and potentially do straight away is go and get this uh, limited time Bo Jackson by just playing through a challenge here. These will be coming out each Friday, so it will be a little bit earlier than the limited time legend. Um, solo um, but with the limited time legends minus those three that they took out of packs complete or four excuse me um, Deerdorf Randall um, the punter and the kicker um, they were all taken out and their power up was then um, only available through the auction house so that was the only way you're able to get them not coming out of packs anything like that it'll be similar to that for this Bo Jackson you'll have until 826 which is Monday right around server changeover time same time you'll be able to go out and um, pull for him they just have this milestone set up for him so you're just gonna have to go in and get this knocked out. Um, as you can see for the rewards, when you get one accomplished, you will be able to just get that bow power up. So if you wanna play on super easy, not rush more than 10 times and not rush for 100 yards, that's where you'll be at. If you just bump it up to medium, it's gonna still be on arcade. It's gonna be slightly more difficult since it's on pro compared to rookie, but you will guarantee yourself um, getting that Mutt 10 token for the halfbacks. There will be other positions um, that will come along over the next nine weeks and when you put those um, 10 tokens that you have received by getting two um, stars each time through these challenges you will be able to get a nap version of one of these 91 overall to plus potentially overall players that could really be a big game changer for your team the issue is you're going to have to play these from Friday through Monday morning and you're gonna to have to get those knocked out otherwise you'll lose the opportunity to play these so it is very important to be able to play these if you don't necessarily want the power up um, I have talked about this before um, but since the power up will not be available anywhere else um, I have um, for Jan 
the kicker and Deardorff and Randall. Um, I've now since sold them off since their price was so very high now. Um, it does go up in price. Um, as better players do come out, you need, do need to be nervous that um, those cards will kind of be outmatched, so they will lose their value. So just keep that in mind um, when you are investing in things like that, just of other cards that might come out that might be even better than this one. Um, but that is pretty much it for now. We really only know the one position of halfback that will be coming out. There will be a variance of positions. Jake did go over that this morning. Um, and that is kind of exciting as well. Um, don't know why there... Well, there is the set. So I didn't know why it would be in here since you will need all 10. Um, but yeah. Oh, they do have the position specific. So you have to put the halfback one here. Um, we have safety linebacker, defensive line, cornerback, wild card, tight end, quarterback, offensive line, and wide receiver. Um, leaving out halfback, naming things that second time around. But these will be things that you do want to go out and get accomplished. Just so you can get that player. Um, and I did say, or I meant to say earlier... I guess this doesn't say Nat anywhere. I is pretty sure he said that this morning, but I'm not 100%. But it might not even be a Nat player, which would be even better. But it is a fantasy pack, so that would be huge. Um, but again, you're going to have to wait 10 weeks and be consistent with those solos. But I definitely think it is worth doing. But that is what we have for you today. Definitely go out and get that solo done for Bo Jackson and check out um, some of the other players that will be coming out later on this weekend. Hopefully they get a couple game changers. I was kind of thinking this was going to be a wide receiver. Um, Kralo said something strange um, and kind of pulled himself back when he was talking about Desmond True Font. So kind of thought this was going to be Randy Moss like 100%. Just thought it was going to be that player. Um, but it is not at this time. So it would be kind of crazy if Randy were to come out tomorrow. But it would kind of make sense that he would be one of these players. Uh, Carmichael would potentially be another one that would fit in here well. He's not as popular everywhere else. But in Mutt, he's absolutely huge uh, physically and um, kind of namesake-wise as well. So hopefully we'll have the opportunity to get some of those players out. Um, but they probably won't be that 91 overall quite yet and this bow does look quite nasty so definitely go and pull a couple extra packs for him and grind because he's going to be very very pricey for a while his name is going to make him more expensive than what he actually is the marcus allen is not probably quite as good to be honest unless you are more of a passer and you do throw the ball to your halfback frequently but this bow jackson is going to be tremendous nonetheless i wish you all the best Thank you for checking into the Irish and Rantane channel. Keep coming back for more Madden knowledge. That will be consistent videos up every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to see them all. Come by Twitch to engage and hit me up on Twitter at Irish and Rantane. Take care and much love, everybody.